Today we're going to be solving a three variable system of equations using elimination. So a three variable system, if I have three variables, I need three equations in order to solve. So we might call that a three by three system. So the first thing you're going to do when you're solving a three by three system of equations using the elimination method is to write all equations in standard form. Right, so we write our x variables, our y variables, our the next variable, which is typically z, equals, and then we have constants on the right side of our equal sign. So we want to make sure that they're all in standard form, and in this case, they all are. What I like to do, and especially when I'm teaching this, is label all of my equations, and you can see that here. This is going to be equation 1, this is equation 2, and this is equation 3. So the first thing you're, or the next thing you're going to do is choose two equations and eliminate a variable, then choose two different equations and eliminate the same variable. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to look at maybe choose two equations that when I line them up, I can easily eliminate a variable. Okay, but um, we want to make sure that when we choose the next equation that it would be easy to eliminate that variable as well. So when I'm looking at this, I notice the y variable, right? I have a negative 2 as a coefficient in one equation, equation 1. I have a positive 2 in equation 2, and then I have a negative 1 in equation 3. Okay, so I could easily kind of do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose two equations and I'm going to eliminate the variable y. I'm going to choose equation 1 and equation 2. So I'm going to write those equations down. 3x minus 2y plus 5z equals negative 20. And then I'm going to write equation 2 down. x plus 2y minus 3z equals positive 22. And now I have a positive and negative, a negative of the same coefficient. So I can easily add these two equations. The y gets eliminated. When I add 3x plus x, I get 4x. 5z minus 3z is 2z. And then negative 20 plus 22 is positive 2. So now I've created an equation with two variables. So now we got to incorporate this equation 3 up here. Okay. So I need two new equations, but one of those equations needs to be equation 3. So let's go ahead and write equation 3 down. It's 2x minus y plus 2z equals negative 6. And now I need to choose another equation um, and I can manipulate these the same way we do a two variable system okay, using the elimination method. So I'm going to choose equation number 2 because it has a positive 2 as a coefficient of y. So x plus 2y minus 3z equals 22. And now I'm going to switch colors here because I'm going to uh, manipulate this equation. As you can see, if I want to eliminate the variable y, I need to multiply this entire equation by positive 2, right? Because if I multiply this um, term right here, negative y or negative 1y times positive 2, I would get negative 2y. And then I could add the two equations and the y variable would be eliminated. So let's do that right here, right? So I'm going to multiply this entire equation by positive 2. Every single term gets multiplied by 2. So let's do that. 2x times 2 is 4x. Negative y times 2 is positive 2y. 2z times 2 is positive 4z. And negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. So now we're going to add these two equations. When I do that, the, uh, oh, you know what I did? I messed up right here. Let me see, I need to erase it. That right there should be, let's get the pink, negative 2y, not positive. And my y's get eliminated. I'm left with 5x plus z equals positive 10. 5x plus c equals positive 10. So now I've put stars by those two equations right here that have two variables. And the next step is you're going to 
solve those two equations for the variables they contain using the elimination method. So now we've got this equation up here, 4x plus 2z equals 2, and then 5x plus z equals 10. So now I've got this new system of equations, and I have two variables, so we're just going to use the elimination method to solve these as well. So I'm going to choose a different color here again. And let's see, what variable could we eliminate? Well, I could eliminate the variable z very easily because coefficient of 1, I could just multiply it by negative 2, and I would get negative 2z. So I'm going to multiply this entire equation by negative 2. And what I'm going to do is actually rewrite this whole system. So 4x plus 2z equals 2. And then in my next equation, I'm going to multiply every single term by negative 2. So I get negative 10x minus 2z equals negative 20. And now I'm going to add these two equations to eliminate the variable z. All right, so when we do that, positive 2z and negative 2z, right, that's what we want to create, okay, when we use the elimination method. Positive and negative of the same coefficient, so those get eliminated. 4 and negative 10x is negative 6x, and then negative 20 and positive 2 is negative 18. And then when I divide both sides by negative 6, I get x equals positive 3. So now I have what x equals. Could I find what z equals? Sure, I could plug it into any equation. Anywhere I see x, I can replace it with 3. So I'm going to use this equation. Instead of 4x plus 2z, 2z equals 2, I'm going to do 4 times 3, right? I'm going to replace x with 3, plus 2z equals 2. And then 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2z equals 2. When I subtract 12 from both sides, I get negative 10. 2 minus 12 is negative 10. Divide both sides by 2, and I get z equals negative 5. So now we've solved this system of equations for two variables, but I have three. The very last thing you do is you're going to substitute the variable values into any equation and solve for the remaining variable. So I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to choose any one of these equations to plug the value of x in for x, 3 in for x, negative 5 in for z, and solve for the value of y. So I'm going to choose equation 2, okay? And equation 2 looks like this. x plus 2y minus 3z equals 22. I'm going to plug in 3 for x plus 2y minus 3z, so 3 times negative 5, equals 22. And now I'm just going to work through this and solve for the, the value of y. So I've got 3 plus 2y, negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15, equals 22. 15 plus 3 is 18, so 2y plus 18 equals 22. And now we've got this just two-step equation, right? So 22 minus 18 is 4, 2y equals 4. If I divide both sides by 2, I get y equals 2. And so I've got x equals 3, and you can actually um, write it like that if you want. So let's see. I could write x equals 3, y equals 2, z equals negative 5. I could also write it like this, um, 3 in alpha order, 3, 2, negative 5. So I can write my answer either way. I'm sure your teacher will take either method, um, but that is how you solve a three variable, that's three by three system of equations using the elimination method. I hope it was helpful.